Welcome back, this is Communities Live on Shepherd Live 93.2 FM with me, Andrew Tildesley and... Susie Casson. And we're joined by... Nisha Lowe. Yeah, hi Nisha. Hello. Good to see you. And thanks for coming in. So, you've got an event happening on Saturday. We have, yes. Um, so this Saturday is the annual dance festival, Chance to Dance. Lovely. Great. So how did Chance to Dance start? It started in uh, 2000 and it was um, the idea came about by uh, Mark Gamsu and Moy McCarthy and it was um, to do with the uh, World Health Organisation uh, city movement where there were cities around the UK and around the world that were trying to uh, promote health and well-being. Right. So how exactly is dance connected to health? Um, well, it is. A, it's a good way to. I think people sort of sometimes there's a bit of a misconception, but it is a really, really good way to keep fit, and it's a, a really, really good well, a good way for sort of uh, mental health and well-being as well. So it's chance to dance on Saturday. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so where is it taking place? Um, it's at several locations this year. So we've got um, there'll be dance sessions taking place at Barker's Pool, uh, Winter Gardens. Peace Gardens, um, Tudor Square, The Moor, um, Upper Chapel is going to be a youth platform this time and we've also got some indoor workshops happening at Channing Hall. Fantastic, so it's kind of across the city. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. lovely. Um, so is there a chance to take part as well as watching the dancers? There is, yeah. So most of the outdoor locations, the way that Chance to Dance works is that um, it's a chance for local groups, local dance schools, local community groups um, to come and demonstrate what they what they do in their dance classes. So usually they'll start with a bit of a performance and it's not always a performance group or a high level group. It could just be class members that are doing a demonstration. Um, and then the teachers or the leaders will ask people to join in. So it is completely open to anybody who's watching at that time to uh, to join in with the session as well. Fantastic. So there's all sorts of ages and different people involved. Yeah, the, the good thing about Chance to Dance is it, it's, it is designed to sort of embrace everybody, no matter what age, um, background um, or culture. So, yeah. Great. Lovely. So there's an opening ceremony on Saturday. There is, yeah. Um, so what we're doing for the opening ceremony, the um, Deputy Lord Mayor is coming to join us as well, so he's going to say a few things about, about the festival. And um, back in... Back in May, we also did the dance pledge as part of the uh, the Big Dance initiative. Uh, it just happens to be that Chance to Dance falls into the Big Dance Week, which most of most of the um, events take place in London. But it is also, um, if anybody's running an event in the UK, they can also advertise their events there as well. Um, so we're doing the dance pledge again. So we did it on the twentieth of May in um, on the Moor. So this time we're we're doing it as the opening ceremony of Chance to Dance. Great. And where is the opening ceremony? The opening ceremony will be in the Peace Gardens. Great. At 11 o'clock? At 11 o'clock, yeah. Great. So it's good to come along to that. Yeah, I think it just, um, it's a good way to sort of just get the, the whole event started. Yeah. And there will be, there'll also be um, a join-in session as part of the opening ceremony. So even if you are there and you like what you see in the opening ceremony, there'll be, um, there'll be a track that anybody can join, into, uh, join in with as well. Sounds great. Um, so there are lots of different groups involved. Can you tell us something about the different groups? Sure, yeah. Um, I think the one thing that I like about Chance to Dance is that um, we get so... People don't always realise how many different styles of dance there are out there and how many are actually represented in Sheffield. Um, so we have anything from folk dancing. We've got um, the Morris dancers are joining and get, uh, joining us again this year. Um, so some of the old, the, the favourites, so people that have been with us right from the start are uh, groups like um, Sheffield City Morris Men, and it's really good to have them have them there this year. Age Active, which is a, a group that runs, which is especially for the over 50s, and they'll be doing some sequence dancing, some line dancing and some Zumba. Um, Sosaka, and I'm sure I've pronounced that wrong, um, but they do South African song song and dance. And if you if you do catch them in the Winter Gardens, it's a, it's a really, really nice. Uh, it's a really really nice place to have to have the song and dance there um, and then we've also got dance schools like hype dance so they'll be doing hip-hop and contemporary and jazz um, and Malemba's Day Africa they've been with us for it they've been doing loads of uh, the chance to dance events and they'll be doing African fusion Great. and it's completely free to come along and watch it is absolutely free absolutely free so there's over there's usually about 70 sessions going on throughout the day from 11 till uh, till four o'clock so you can just join in join in at any point 
Fantastic. So is there quite a lot of live music as well? Um, some of the some of the folk groups sometimes have live musicians as well. So uh, when we've had uh, clog dancing before, they've had uh, they've had their own group. Um, the 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 music that we're going to have this time is with the Sheffield Samba Band that will be ha um, that will be doing the um, the end ceremony with us. So they'll be doing the mass dance with us. Great. So, what's the end ceremony? Um, so, this was a, this was something that the chair, Mark Gams, who came uh, he came up with the idea last year, and it worked. It did work really well last year. Was to have a samba samba parade through Sheffield. Um, so, last year it started at, at Barker's Pool, and it'll be the same location this year. So, the samba band and anybody who wants to follow the band um, can congregate at Barker's Pool at about quarter to four, and then we'll make our way into the Peace Gardens, and then the samba band. Um, just they they play a few of their a few of their um, their songs and their tracks and anybody can just sort of join in and have a a bit of a party in uh, in the Peace Gardens. Oh, sounds like a good new tradition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lovely. So, are you dancing yourself on Saturday? Um, I'm only taking part in the dance pledge this time, um, but I'll be I'll be wandering around and seeing how all the groups are how the groups are doing. And I was going to ask you, if someone was a complete beginner, what would you recommend they have a go at on Saturday? Um, I'd say any of them, but because <laughs> there's lots that I'd like to take part in as well. Um, I think there's there's so many different styles to choose from, and if you if you do go to the website, you'll see you'll see the different styles. Like there's folk dance, there's social dancing, so things like salsa, and uh, we haven't got tango this year. There's uh, world styles, so we've got African, we've got Indian, um, you know, we've got Oriental Oriental dance. Um, so there's so many, there's so many to choose from, and with a lot of these. Uh, sessions because the groups you know they want to promote it they want to make it accessible to non um, like absolute beginners as well so I know it's always difficult when you're out in the public and you're sort of thinking oh you don't want to be looked at what if I do something wrong but I you know I have to say most of the all of the groups that I know from in Sheffield they're so good at encouraging people to take part so even if you are an absolute beginner you know everybody's there to dance everybody's in the same situation so just take a step forward and just have a go yeah lovely so it's on saturday and i hardly dare ask this but does it go ahead whatever the weather yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um we've got two venues sorted as indoor locations this time so it's going to happen even if there's heavy downpours um there is a wet weather plan sorted out as well so fantastic so that's chance to dance on saturday great 11 till 4. 11 till 4. people find out more? Uh, you can go to the website, which is www.chancetodance.org. Um, so there's details about the venues and all the sessions that are happening. Or you can also search for it on uh, Facebook. So if you just do a search for Chance to Dance, the main uh, Facebook event page will come up as well. Fantastic. Oh, thanks for coming in. Great. Thank, thank you. you.